in the daytime, I'm an IT nerd and I work at, as a web sphere administrator. And then at night, this, this whole sort of different person comes out. You know, he wants to be like a badass. He wants to ride his scary bike around. He wants to wear the scary helmet. That's kind of maybe my escape from work. I think the helmet represents the bad ass biker in me. So I guess this whole thing about bikes started back in Mauritius when I was probably about five. My dad used to race these little 250s, 49ccs. Dad came home to a bike that was dismantled and he asked my mum who, like who the hell did this to my bike? And my mum pointed at me, the little kid, and um, she said, well, it's your fault. You're the one who shows him how to do all this stuff. So what did you expect? So I guess um, from the age of five, I, I kind of had this sort of instinct to tinker around with bikes. And my mum still blames my dad for me tinkering around with bikes. Runs in the blood, I guess. I think the Mad Max, I did have an idea of what I wanted to build, but it wasn't a very solid idea. I had my mates going, hey, why don't you build another cafe racer? And I had another half people going, hey, why don't you build something different? Why don't you build a tracker? I thought, you know what? I'm gonna build something that's crazy, like a, like a, you know, a big foot tracker. And um, you know, that that kind of stayed in my head, and that's what I wanted to get out of the Mad Max, the monster truck bike. Some of the mods on uh, the Max was to make it look big and chunky, starting from the front, the big front forks, twin disc brakes, 180 tires on, five and a half inch headlight with the custom grill that I made up. Moving towards the back, you've got this double exhaust coming out, it's going to one and then shooting out the back into two again. And then you've got the extended swing arm on the rear with a huge 200 tires. And then obviously you've got the candy red paint and little sort of seat just to give it that nimble sort of look. On, on the rear, you've got the rear tire hugger and combining all that together, You've got the single mono shock, which is off a Hayabusa with a custom spring. It's really sort of cool. And I think, I think the end result was monster truck bike. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, I don't get time to ride and after maybe a week or so, I, I go into my garage and I can just see the, the rear of the tire thinking that looks pretty good and I just go across to the side and I said to myself did I, did I actually build this thing and then I just start up the bike you just hear that big roar going blah 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 but, you know the type of feeling that you get you just like you know you just want to ride it and she just wants to go you just feel that that sense of freedom the loudness you hear everything. And all, all you want to do is, when you get on the mat, you go on the freeway, you just want to scream. You just want to go, ah, you know, I'm free. I, I can do whatever I want. I don't know, it's just crazy. But I guess that's the feeling that I get from the max riding it. I think the main reason behind the helmet is, when I take the helmet off, all you can see is, this, this boy. I'm in IT, I'm at a desk and you know, nobody cares what I do and when I'm on the max, everybody everybody sees me and everybody cares what I'm doing. It's just like an attention seeker. It's, it's a crazy bike. So when I put the helmet on, it's badass, it looks mean. Being a badass, I don't know if I am a badass, but yeah, that's, that's what it is.